Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with um, a new palette from ColourPop. And I think um, most everything I've used before, but I really liked how this all went together. It just all really seemed, I don't know, to be made by the same company and all sort of, you know, flow together kind of things. So um, as far as what I started off with, started off with the Glow Oil uh, by Supergoop. And so this one is with the uh, SPF 50 in it. So that's what I have on as far as uh, my SPF and my primer today. And then I went ahead and put on the L'Oreal True Match and C 2.5. So that's what I have on as far as foundation today. And yes, it's darker than I usually use because I have been using the Self Tanner by Bondi Sands. Their new one in Technicolor is what it's called. And so that's what I've been um, yeah, gone ahead and using. So, um, and as usual with self tanner, since you go ahead and wash your face and your hands a lot more than you do the rest of your body, it fades from there first. So having a good, um, yeah, a good foundation that's a little bit darker to help you match up to your neck and to your chest is always a good thing. And so that's what I did there. And then, um, I did go ahead and shot my stash. I found the Wet n Wild uh, Bronzer and Bikini Contest. And so that's what I have on there. And it has a lot of red in it. So I'm liking it a lot. I think it goes pretty well with this look. And this is the old packaging for this one. And then I did go ahead and use the Tried and True NYX uh, Thicket Stick It in Cool Ash Brown. And that's one's for the brass there. As far as what I did for the eye look, I um, Moffin Up is what I picked up. Uh, this one is available over at Target, or you can get it on the Ulta website. And so it, um, it actually goes darker and deeper than some of the other Moffin palettes that they have. I'll show you one here in a second. As far as what I put on today, use this for the base and then I went ahead and put this one on the inner corner. Um, I did some of this on the lid and some of this one on the lid and let's see. Um, other than that I think I used a little bit of this up on the brow but I think I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit more. Oh yeah. Yeah you can deepen up with this palette a lot more. <laughs> so I didn't think yeah. Yeah, you can definitely go ahead and deepen the look up a lot with that. And um, let me go ahead and do a little bit for eyeliner here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this one over here. It has a little bit more red in it. For an eyeliner. So there you go with the eyeliner. And um, going ahead and comparing this to the Mickey Mops, which I think we all sort of uh, put into a classic ColourPop um, look, a classic ColourPop palette, um, and you can make classic ColourPop looks with it, um, is Mickey Mops. I did go ahead and put some of this color on my lid. And um, so as far as the shimmers, I think that probably going ahead and mixing these two is actually the way to get the perfect look here. Um, so with the new one, it definitely has some darker, deeper shades in it, but the old palette has some uh, metallics, uh, some lighter metallics and some different metallics that actually do kind of make the look pop. So um, both the palettes will probably work really well together and um, they're both really pretty. So yeah, I think they're both good choices. If you have both, definitely combine them. And this is the way that the look turned out. And I did go ahead and redo the hair. So the hair is actually more of a purple right now than it usually is. So uh, that's kind of where I ended up with the hair. So it's going with the moth pretty well. And what else did I have? Oh, yeah, the Brute Flute. 
I actually got a backup of this. I went over to TJ Maxx and they had uh, this particular blush. And this actually goes a little bit redder um, than it looks in the pan. It looks like it would, you know, fit right in with the moths. And it doesn't exactly. So what I did was I went ahead and used this out of quartz. And this is a super shock chic. It's not a highlighter but um, it's actually listed as an actual um, blush color, but I used it as a highlighter today. And so it took the Brute Flute, which again has a little bit more red, and just toned it down a little bit and made it more of a moth. So that's how I did there. And then went ahead and used the Baby Gloss. Uh, this one is from Relove Revolution. This is over at Walmart. You can get this. Um, it's part of the Revolution, their line at Walmart, which is called Relove, and everything's $5 and under. These run for about $3. And as far as the rest of the ColourPop, um, you can go ahead and get these at Ulta, at Target, or on the ColourPop website. And other than that, I think that's about my look today. So, uh, yeah, really mauve -y. And now a really deep mauve -y look with, uh, yeah, some really light metallic in there to go ahead and give it a little bit of a pop. And I think that's just about everything that I have for my video today. And um, definitely would go ahead and recommend the Moffin Up. Definitely would recommend going ahead and mixing it with Mickey Moths if you have that. And um, I think that's about all that there is today. So thank you. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.